hello guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to a makeup tutorial today is a spring look with some teal and a little bit of glitter going on it is going to be a look dedicated just to my eyes because i recently did a full face on how i contour foundation etc so we are going to jump right in and i hope you guys enjoy First, taking this NYX Avant Pop palette, and this is called Nuve Chic. I'm applying that to the upper crease. I'm taking the lightest shade, which is a transitional color, and I'm going back and forth in windshield wiper motions. You guys will see me go through this a few times. It is not as pigmented as I wanted it to, so I had to make sure that I went back a few times and reapply the color to intensify it. Now, after that, I took a second palette. This is also by NYX. This is Surreal My Heart, and I took the darkest shade of the palette. It's, well, it's more like a light brown, if I would say. And I'm applying that to the crease, going again, back and forth in windshield wiper motions. Now, that color wasn't as intense as I wanted it to, so I went back to the palette's um, new chic, and I reapplied the darkest shade again to the crease because I really wanted to create a nice transitional color. After that, I took this white base also from NYX and I just applied that to the crease because we are going to do a cut crease makeup look. You guys don't have to do this, but I feel like this is what works best for me. So I just applied that with a flat brush. I feel like this is the best way for me to get that super crispy cut clean look, if you know what I mean. Now, after that, we're taking our main color. This color is so pigmented, so gorgeous. That is, again, from Surreal My Heart palette, and I'm just applying that onto the lid. That's the name of it. And as you can see, it pops so nicely. So then I'm taking my NYX, not NYX, oh my god, my NYC eyeliner. I know that this has been discontinued, but girl, I went to every Walmart in the state of Utah and I bought those suckers because I was not ready to let go. I was not ready. So I just did my wing like I normally would. Now I applied lashes. These lashes, I am so sorry. I don't know the name or the brand. I've had these for so long. I think it's time to part with them, but they are my favorites. I believe they are from Velour, but I don't know the name, so I'm sorry. But any lashes will work just fine. After that, I repeated the same steps to the lower lashes, and I just made sure that it looked as even as possible to the crease. Now I'm gonna take this Stila Magnificent Glitter, I believe, and this is the gold one. I just applied it to the lower lashes in the inner corners, like the tear ducts, because I wanted to make sure that, I don't know, I just I just wanted some glitter in there. You know, it's spring, you can't go wrong with glitter ever. Um, and in case you guys are wondering, my lips are a little bit bruised. Um, I treated myself for my birthday, and I got some lip fillers to even out my lips. In case you guys are wondering, you guys probably don't care, but yeah. So then I went with the highlighter in the Anastasia and the Nicole palette. I cannot stay away from this palette. It is so bomb. And I applied that to the inner corners of my eyes just to open them up a tad bit more. I'm going to go back and I'm going to take gold, gold glitter or go getter, something like that. And one for three and I'm applying that to the highest points of my cheekbones. Just again, windshield wiper motions because I didn't want this to be super, super, super intense. And I also applied that to my cupid's bow and to my chin. Now I went in with this CoverGirl lip liner and I will have the name listed down below. I never remember what it is, I'm sorry. My brain is so scattered today. I've had a rough day, so rough. But I'm applying that and then I'm gonna go in with a lipstick by Wet n Wild. I haven't used this in so long, but it is in the shade Just Peachy and I'm applying that everywhere because I wanted a more peachy, um, soft effect to the lips. I didn't want to overpower the eyes. 
After that, I went in with my setting spray. This is a Milani Make It Last. This spray is bomb. It's so good. It lasts four hours. So that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this spring makeup tutorial. Leave your requests down below. I love you chicas and I will see you on Monday. Mwah. Love you guys.